welcome, welcome. This is the Simply King Podcast. It's your boy Rodney Perry King himself. And you have just tuned into the Soulfully Conscious Podcast for Humans Simply Being Humans. This is a transparency episode. Transparency episode. And I want to set the tone. Um, I want to set the tone by just literally just making sure that everything is correct because I dead ass don't know everything is right on every single stage and every single part of my thing. You feel me? I have no clue. I have no clue if it's right or if it's not what it looks like um, at all. I have no clue at all what this is really hidden on. You know what I'm saying? There we go. There we go. Let me get this back. Okay, okay. There we are. There we are. There we are. There we are. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Facebook. What's happening? TikTok. What's happening? IG. You feel me? We all over the place. 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 I assume that it's probably going to be a slight little lag. A slight little lag in the, in the stream, if you will. Um, but it's my first time trying to do like a simulcast type of situation. Tap that screen if you're vibing with me um, and ask me anything. This is the, I produce a podcast called The Simply King Podcast. Been doing it for eight years and counting now. And I had the idea of like, I haven't done something like this. I haven't done something where I can genuinely present y'all with something that gives you the opportunity to just ask me anything, genuinely get to know me, genuinely get to get into my business. Um, because I, I, I've been told and consulted by friends that I'm a extremely private person. Uh, well, not even extremely. I think I'm an open book. I think it just all depends on what you ask me. So you can ask me anything. I got a few questions that I got anonymous, uh, anonymously asked to me that I'm going to get to in the episode, but I wanted to really make this an episode about transparency as a whole, because so many of us really don't think about that. A lot of us really don't genuinely, genuinely consider how we showing up, you know? Um, let's see, let's see. I think we should be good on all cylinders at this point. Should be good everywhere. Um, I think we should be good. We gonna see. Um, I tag my mom and my sister in it. It's funny. Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. It's a lot going on. I feel like I'm literally bringing in like a a, a million and one different cameras, a million and one different types of things. So bear with me. But this is why I'm doing this. I'm putting pressure on myself. As we do when we're trying to get some shit done, um, when we're trying to really get something done. But come on, what's up with you? I see you, New Orleans. I heard y'all don't like for people to call it NOLA. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Um, but this whole episode uh, of the Simply King podcast is going to be about going to be about being transparent, um, opening up more the importance of transparency as a whole, because I think it's something that we really don't talk about enough as black men, as black people. Uh, the quality of being transparent is something that we sleep on, but it actually makes us feel so much more comfortable with each other and everyone else. Um, we just got to be more like that. We just got to be more comfortable with being ourselves around each other, around the people that we say we care about everything. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let you know, Right off the top, um, prior to, you know, getting into podcasting, I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. I was literally broke, unemployed, and didn't know where the hell I was going to find some employment at. Um, and then my great friend, my great friend, Elijah, um, I call him Stretch. Threw the idea out there to me to be like, hey, how about you? How about you start this podcast shit? How about you get on that? How about you actually spread the word and let people know 
that you have something like this, that you have this talent to be able to have conversation. And that was in 2015, before people actually figured out about all these mics. Before they found out that these mics was costing about $100, the barrier entry was low, you feel me? It was like that. It was genuinely like that. And I think for me, all I cared about was just really being sane. I, 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 didn't, I didn't have any prospects. I was literally going on interviews every other day. Had white people asking me about if my hair, how attached to my hair am I? You know what I'm saying? And it was crazy. It was crazy because I'm just like, these people are dead ass. They dead ass. And I can't believe it. I can't even believe it to save my life. But I, I feel like, you know, everything happens for a reason. I think me podcasting for as long as I have been, eight years and counting, it'll be nine years in August. Um, it started my overall career in digital creation. And I need that. I needed that. I needed to be better at putting myself out there. Because I think that that was something that I didn't do as much. And that, that, that was something I needed to do more of. I think that I genuinely felt like I think I genuinely felt like I was already, quote unquote, a person who showed so much promise and was told that I could do anything and whatever. And in reality, that wasn't enough. I think I'm coming to realize that more and more and more these days is that that really genuinely wasn't enough, that I needed to do more for myself and just honestly be better at managing that I can do whatever it is that I say I can do. And I think that having ambition is one thing, having potential is another, but getting things done is a genuine skill. And for me, being kind of, you know, struck down with the idea of like, oh, you can't, you can't find work, you can't find work because of literally how you show up. The way that you show up is incorrect for business. So I'm immediately messed up about it because it's like, damn, I'm fresh out of school and I, and who I am and how I'm showing up as a person isn't enough. And I didn't know really what to do about that, how to feel about that, how to, how to move on in a real genuine way. And so for me, I think that I had to find my identity again. I had to figure out who I was again. And I think the serendipitous thing was that podcast kind of saved my mind a little bit, gave me something to do, made me feel like I can accomplish something, made me feel like I was back in control, in control of my life and I can complete a thing. And I think it served that purpose for me for so, so, so long, for so, so, so long. I'm talking about, I think so many people see podcasting as a money move, as some, some you know, form of, you know, content creation that can, you know, be lucrative and everything. But I think anybody knows that it's really just a it's a it's a just a form of media. And it does not mean that you're gonna make buku money because you're doing it. It doesn't mean that at all. So to me, the thing that we have to like understand and get better at and and come to terms with when you are getting into content creation is that some things are gonna be easy, some things are gonna be hard. But the thing that you have to, you know, stay steadfast on is to know you got to You got to actually care about this. You got got to actually love to chat, to talk, to build with people, to exchange with folks. Because if, if that part is hard for you, if that part is weird, if that part makes you nervous, this is going to be hard. This is you're going to have a long ass day. And. I don't believe that that's something that we, you know, can really genuinely stand on as content creators is to believe in that this has to get easier the more and more you do it. I think it can get harder. Expectations, you've built a community, people are expecting things from you. You might put all these things out and you feel like nobody's listening. You're talking into a void. Like even right now, right now, I'm literally looking at a screen. IG, I kind of figure what's going to be kind of weird. Um, and I think I just, the one viewer I had on IG live was gone. I have like one right now on TikTok and maybe like, I just had two on Facebook live 
um, no comments. You feel me? And it's people who are steadily coming in. So it's almost a good, interesting. I'm taking a lot of, you know, self notes. But it's it can be anxiety inducing for a lot of people to get into this thing. It's just like, you know, going up on stage and singing and all these different things. Everybody can't do it. Everybody can't do it. And I personally feel like the thing that we have to do better at and feel better at is putting ourselves out there in uncomfortable situations. Just had an episode called Overstand the Comfort Zone um, that I put out two weeks ago where it speaks to that. And I think right now, in closer and closer to 250 episodes, I've been really getting more and more introspective. I know why I'm getting more and more introspective. I, I, y'all will know very soon why I'm getting so introspective. Um, well, what's up, Ray? What's happening, Ray? Yeah, uh, shout out to Ray Louise. Um, go stream Ray Louise. Everything. Um, just pick a song. It'll be it'll be the best you ever. It'll be the best you ever, decision you made today. But I genuinely feel. Let me put something in the chat. Um, pin that comment. There we go. Um, yeah, but I know this, this is going to be like an audio nightmare for me when I have to put this out, but that's why this is what it is. This is the transparency episode flaws and all everybody who's tapping in with me on the live. Um, right now I'm sipping on, um, it's called, I'm calling this, uh, the rock and lemon. It's literally just, a some, like a sweet and sour mix. With some ter- with some reposado terramana, that's the drink, that's the jingle that you're hearing, and it's tasty. It's real tasty, real tasty. Um, the funny thing about all this is I don't know where the stream where the stream is, because I'm looking on. I I'm looking on all these different screens right now, trying to figure out. Why the hell it's a lag on this shit? But it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, let us get into some of these anonymous questions. Because I'm not going to hold y'all too long. My solo episodes, I like to try to keep them under an hour anyway. Um, but feel free to ask me anything in the chat. Ask me anything in the chat. Ask me anything in the chat. This is the transparency episode. You can ask me anything about how I feel about the world. This is a free range I will not get upset. I will not get in my feelings type of moment. This is a safe space. I want everybody to understand that. And even if you're listening to this and you didn't catch me uh, on any live, I still want whoever who is hearing this to ask me anything. I'm going to be answering questions throughout the week. I'm going to be just expressing myself throughout the week in various different ways, letting y'all in on more and more and more of me and just really wanting to, you know, Make myself into a glass house for this week, if you will. I want to make myself into someone that y'all can genuinely connect with and see through um, and see see that I am here and, and, and willing and ready for us to grow in a sense of relatability in a different way. Because I, I understand that that's what's been my crush this whole time in terms of content creation. I might know how to shoot the thing. I might come up with a million and one ideas. but. I'm going to tell y'all what it is. I'm going to tell y'all before I get to these, um, before I get to these anonymous questions that was asked to me, if you want to ask me any questions anonymously, you can go to the link in my bio. You can go to the link in my bio and you can ask me a question anonymously. Um, you tap the link. I'll put it. I'll put the link. Let me see. Let me put these links uh, all everywhere all at once right now everywhere all at once right now you know what i'm saying so you can ask me anything ask me anything ask me anything you can go to the link in my bio and if you want to ask me something if you want to ask me something anonymously yeah anonymous questions go uh there we go there we go uh but it was really uh the american fiction movie the character on that film uh who goes by the, the main character on that film was named Monk. And Monk's character to me represented, honestly, if I don't make a, if I don't get a handle on my own sense of vulnerability and have, and let people in, in a deeper way to a deeper level, not even just from a context of like intimate partners, but in a general way, because that man was a creative trying to 
create something for people to consume. So that means, and he was writing about people, he was writing stories. So that means he had to have a grasp, not only on language, but also on people. So I related to it in a million different ways. I, you know, I, I call myself a writer first, first and foremost, before I even really, you know, picked up any other medium. I think that was the first thing that I did first was write and then draw and then everything else kind of persisted, uh, proceeded. So for me, I related to it because I'm like, this is where I'm going if I don't stop this. You know, like his his brother and his sister didn't relate to him. His his mom, even though she was, you know, sickly, still was, you know, she only remembered him in very specific ways. I believe to me, I think that I didn't want to be that type. I don't want to grow to be that type of man in my 40s and 50s. I want to open up. So regardless of the numbers, regardless of who's watching, regardless of whatever is happening, because I think two, three years ago, I would have talked myself out of even doing an episode like this. Because I would have felt like it wasn't worth my time and who cares and no one's going to care to ask me anything. No one really wants to know who I am in a real way. But it's like, why are you creating all these things to not connect with people? And in that movie, he was mad because his books weren't connecting with people. Monk's books weren't connecting with people. Nobody really cared. And then he wrote a book about some bullshit. And then that's what did it. That's what made, that's what crossed him over into a whole new stratosphere. And I've done that before. I feel like every single post, every single piece of content I've ever made that's salacious, that's messy, that's about the controversial things. I'm saying exactly what everybody evidently wants to say. Exactly what everybody wants to say in some way, shape or form. So to me, there's something about that. There's something to that. There's something that I can't fully understand as to why that is. But I know that for me, it's something that I have to contend with. Something I got to grapple with. It's something I got to understand about myself and decide if I want to make those changes in real life. So as I say to y'all yet again, ask me anything. Ask me anything. Ask me whatever you want to ask me. Um, you can put it in the chat. You can DM me. Um, I'm on Facebook Live. I'm on IG Live. I'm on TikTok Live uh, right now. This episode is going to be available um, after the stream on audio first. And then um, later this week, it'll be available. The video will be available later this week. Um, I've seen you, Jay. I appreciate, I appreciate the love on TikTok. Um, I'm not sure what everybody else is doing. On all these other joints. I see you out here, Grant. I see you, Don. I see you, Brittany. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. I feel like my stream is kind of off, so I don't know. I don't know where I don't know where everything is. At this point in time. I don't know where everything is. But it is what it is. Maybe okay, so it's not that it's not that big of a delay. It's not that big of a delay. Yeah, Facebook is mad late though. <laughs> but um let's get into these anonymous questions. Let's get into these anonymous questions. Now, I utilize this uh platform called uh called um NGL or not gonna lie, I'm assuming it's probably what that stands for. Um, this NGL link, you can find a link in my bio. You can find a link in my bio right now. It'll be there all week. I'll be answering questions as long as they keep popping up. And I knew, I knew that people were going to go to this anonymous one. I ain't getting no questions straightforward. None. As it's still have none straight, no straightforward questions that nobody want to know. Nobody want to stand on the big business of this is what I feel. This is what it is. What's up? What's happening? Uh, make sure y'all follow Braided. They just joined in. Make sure y'all utilize and see about Braided. If you want more information about Braided, reach out to me. Um, you can also, uh, for everybody who might be listening to this on the, you know, on the recorded version, you can tap the link. Um, I actually have an affiliate link right in the description of this episode. Um, and if you go to the link in my bio, you can also contribute a question. You can also contribute a question uh, through my braided link where you can reply via text or with a video. 
an image, I don't know how you would ask a question with it with an image. I mean, you can write draw write some down, I guess, but I mean, sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anybody who does a public question for me, I you know, I obviously respect to uh to who you are. Um, but anybody who does a public question, I more than likely will say your name and, and let people know that you are the one who has this question. Because this is the transparency episode. We're being trans. Parent. Okay, so let us get into some of these questions, some of these anonymous questions. So I got these questions from, I got all these questions from the Not Gonna Lie uh, application where you can give me questions anonymously. If you want to get to the link, Go to the link in my bio on TikTok. Go to the link in my bio on Facebook. Go to the link in my bio on IG. I'm right now. I'm live on everything as we speak. Okay, I'm turning my notifications on. Um, let me relaunch this. Let me relaunch this and get this thing on up. Okay, so it looks like I have. Right now, I have four messages. Let's go through. All right. Okay. I don't think people get the, I don't think people understood the assignment. (laughs) I don't think people understood the assignment at all. But sure, this isn't a question at all. Uh, Maybe it's, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe it's my faux pas. First thing that I'm opening up and I'm looking at right now is it's always good time when you're around. I think I'm a good time. Um, That's not really a question, so I really can't answer that. So I guess I'll just, you know, give a statement to it. Having good energy is a part of being a good, transparent person. I think that I'm pretty much an open book. My therapist even said himself, I actually go to therapy, been going to therapy since 2019. My therapist's name is Claude King. And he actually, um, I found him. He literally looks like, imagine me, but like four or five years older, tad bit taller. Um, and you, that's my therapist. That's we, so it's like talking to a mirror for real. And so it makes it really easy to talk to him. And he said to me once in a, in a session that, you know, Roddy, you deep, you're deep. And I don't know if you know that you deep, but you deep. And it's not that you are closed off or that, you know, you don't want to share who you are to people. It's that people don't ask you the right questions. They don't, they don't, they don't ask you. And, and people probably ask you the same questions. They're interested in the exact same things about you. Um, so they don't really get under the surface. I think right now we're leading on Facebook right now with the most viewers. Shout out to y'all. Let me know what y'all. Let me know where y'all at, what y'all got going on, what's happening, Jocelyn. Um, ask me questions in the chat. Ask me questions in the chat. Um, but more than anything, I think that, you know, to be a good vibe, to be a good mood, not only do you have to be intentional about that, but you also got to have, you know, good habits. And shout out to my mom for being a person to me who established that good foundation of being a good time she was you know back in the day she was uh head of the hospitality ministry she was one of the you know leaders in the hospitality ministry in the church i grew up in my mom is fitable people that you'll ever meet you feel me so you realize that that vibe and that essence kind of carries on um no matter where you go to be quite honest um, but yeah, that's, that's, I, I, there's, there's nothing else I can say to that question. And majority of these questions came in seven hours ago. That one came in two hours ago. If you want to ask a question to me, you can jump in to the chat and I'll answer your questions. Um, as I kind of go down and go through them and ask me anything, you can ask me anything about me, ask me anything about the world, have my opinions about things. That's what this episode is all about. Um, Okay. The next question I got from the the NGL link is how are you doing mentally? How are you doing mentally? 
Um, and I'm going to make sure I clip this one because I think this will be a good clip. Um, right now, I can actually read to y'all exactly something that I've, I wrote down the other day. I don't think I have it off the top of my... Let me see if I can pull this up. Can I pull it up another? This might be hard to do. This might be hard to do. We're gonna see. We're going to see if this is something I can do. Okay, so I'm going to read this to y'all, and then I'm going to give y'all even more um, context. Um, one of my favorite writers and content creators uh, goes by the name of um, Melinda Jean-Claude. Um, he's had other pseudonyms and other names that he's went by, but he posted this post where he just said, tell me something. And your story, your thoughts, your wishes, your pain, they matter. And that's probably, you know, a part of the inspiration of what led me to even do this. Um, to do this type of episode, this style of episode, if you will. But I just felt inspired to write something, to put my words in some type of concise form. And this is why I wrote. I'm in a place of transition, a liminal space I know too well. I feel tired and frustrated to not have yet landed at my destination. To begin to build my life stable and grounded, I want more. I want to be more. I want to feel more. And right now, I'm present in that place of transition. I'm a person who genuinely believes that, you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm in a space right now where mentally I feel like I'm forever being challenged in terms of my capability. And that shit is the, the easiest way to kind of, you know, fuck with me. It's for me. And I think it's more so about, you know, not a, it, about the nurturing that I got growing up. I feel like I feel like I came into the world and immediately everybody seen promise in me. And let me know about their promise immediately. Let me know that, oh, Rodney, you're so talented. Oh, Rodney, you, I can see you do so many great things. Uh, I can see you do this for yourself. I can see you do that for yourself. Um, I know you're going to, I know you're going far in life, all these various things. And to me, I think that kind of fucked me up because it, I think in so many ways, I think I believed it, but always still very much questioned it. So it's almost a chicken or the egg situation. Am I living up to my fullest potential? Or am I trying my best and it's just not enough? You really don't know. You know, you really don't know. Because I'm just living life. And regardless of my efforts, I think I really want to be in a better place, in a better space with myself uh, entirely. I, my, mind, my mind is all over the place sometimes. And I think that in the past few weeks, I've been doing my damnness to make sure that I am reassessing what's on my plate, taking my time for me, doing more for me, filling my cup up and um, and also not and knowing that the choices that I'm making to reassess and to realign my life and reprioritize my life is in a self betrayal. It's a long answer, you know, for a short, simple question, but it's where I'm at mentally for real. Um, thanks for that question, whoever that was. Um, next question is what you doing tomorrow okay um tomorrow i am planning to i got a bunch of you know things to send out from applications emails various things like that i need to clean my house um i need to follow up with some people and actually work on some Getting, just getting some money. That's really what it is. Just getting some money <laughs> is what I'm doing tomorrow. Is um, because when you're an entrepreneur, you kind of are never off. You never can like rest for real. Um, you're always doing something. Even even what I'm doing right now, even though it can be seen as fun and seen as you know leisurely in some way, shape, or form, it's still work. You still got to get this part done. You still got to do this part well enough. 
so that you can then do something else with it. So then you can proceed to make this a part of whatever it is you got going on. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, yeah, y'all, y'all did not go. Y'all not, y'all did not get as spicy as I thought y'all was gonna get. But it's cool because we're gonna see how y'all, where y'all take this once this episode comes out. Once I do a few clips, once I show y'all, you know, this is what it is. This is how soft folks was going with this. But I'm giving y'all the free range to ask me whatever y'all want to ask me, and I'm gonna give y'all an answer. Um, but it is what it is. I think you know we still going, we still going, you know, do get the job done and get the essence of the show, get the essence of this episode clear and, you know, make sure that it's thorough. Yeah. People not understanding the assignment over here. (laughs) The next, I didn't, I got two, I got two actual questions and two statements. Let me make, I'm going to make sure that this thing says, send me anonymous questions. Because I think that people are just trying to just say shit to me at this point. They just want to say things to me that they really could have just said to me, to be quite honest. You could have just said this shit to me. Uh, the next, the next uh, thing I got from NGL is my friends really like you. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are or who your friends are. So, I don't know what we're going to do about that. You feel me? What's up with that? What's up with women not shooting a shot? I think that women should shoot their shot. I'm not saying that men shouldn't. And now, take it, take in what I'm saying. I think that women should start shooting their shot a little bit more. Doesn't mean that men shouldn't do anything. I'm not saying or condoning that at all. But I think that women should start shooting their shot. Y'all have a little bit better. Y'all have definitely have a little bit better discernment when it comes to people than we do. Y'all can see and peep what y'all want a lot better than us. So why don't y'all just go ahead and shoot y'all shot? Let it be known what's going on. You feel me? Um, let it be known that y'all liking somebody. Let it be known that y'all really trying to see about something. Let it be known. Because nine times out of ten, y'all going to get further along than any nigga shooting, shooting a shot at y'all. Because y'all know for sure y'all like them. Y'all know for sure y'all want to keep talking to them, getting to know them, whatever it is. So why not? Shoot that shot. Shoot that shot, baby. Shoot that shot. And I think that people, uh, I get it. Uh, Women are not used to rejection. I understand that. But I also think that rejection is overrated. It's overrated. Trust me, I know. I've been, and you don't think about rejection when the people that you shoot the shot at, when it works, when your shots go in, you're not thinking about nobody denying you. You're only thinking about the, the dubs. So y'all need to start shooting. You see a very attractive man at a Kroger, at a Publix, at a Tars J. Say something to that man. Because why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, But it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know why this is saying this. But let me let me see if I can see if I can edit this. Okay, that's probably what it is. I think I think I'm gonna say that people probably did understand the assignment, but it was me. It was me. I'm the problem. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I actually, you know, I think I attempted to even try to do an episode like this before. I did like seven confessions um, on the seventh anniversary, seven year anniversary of my uh, podcast and just gave out more and more of my information, more and more of what I felt like I needed to admit something that I needed to bring to the surface. And right now I'm feeling like I'm in a real weird space creatively. I feel like I've been having the, I feel like I've been in and out of creative blocks for the past year, um, moving back down to Atlanta was 
not easy for me. I've had to make a lot of major decisions for myself um, to be here, to be where I'm at right now. Um, and still being faced with really, really big decisions for myself. And I think that more than anything, I'm tired of shit. I'm tired as hell. Like I'm so tired of like continuously having to figure certain things out, continuously having to try. And cause I think I'm a way better per I'm, I'm way better when I'm at a, at a, have a foundation, if you will, when I'm not restarting everything. I'm good for ideation. I'm good for coming up with a new way to approach something. I'm good for all that. I can do it over and over and over again. We can keep restarting. I'm Neo in this shit. Feel me? I can just put me in the matrix and we're going to keep getting until we get it right. But the reality of it is I'm not a machine. I'm a person. I'm a man. I get tired. I get weary. I get doubtful. I feel ways about myself all the damn time. I don't know when, what's up sometimes. And sometimes I don't even realize that I'm moving as fast as I'm moving until, it's, you know, so much time has already passed. Till I've already committed to so many different things. But I genuinely feel like for me, I really want to be better to myself, more compassionate to myself. Let me beat myself up, man. I really do. I really be beating myself up. Like, I really feel like I could be so much better at being more gentle with myself, being more compassionate with myself, seeing the my choices as acts of compassion. Because I think, you know, so often we just, you know, commit to whatever, you know, so many external things outside of ourselves instead of doing what our heart really desires, doing what's best for ourselves, regardless of the, you know, the mood we're in in that time. It's like sometimes the best thing for you is to sacrifice this in this moment. The best thing for you is to get up and go to the gym and so that you do feel better. The best thing for you is to commit to this thing that maybe, yeah, you don't want to do it right now, but it's going to benefit you in the long run. Um, I think I learned so much about myself once I became an entrepreneur. Um, the hardest part in all of it was seeing my work ethic. And now I have more context as to why my work ethic is the way it is. Um, and why I have to work diligently to make it better, to be quite honest. It's because I've been a person who's just been this busybody. I've been this person who's just been putting so many things on my plate and just running myself raggedy as hell. And I, and I, I know that I deserve stability. I know I deserve, you know, way less volatility in my life um, because I'm smart enough, because I'm talented enough. I think that those things are true, but I think I have to not rest on those laurels, not rest on those talents. I have to like sharpen them. I have to, build on them to see those as my forever foundation and my, and my home base, if you will. But that should be hard. That shit is not easy. I'm trying my best and trying to learn and understand more about life on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think I'm certainly a person who is driven by the idea that I know I'm meant to be in a certain position in life feel like I'm called to be in a certain position in life. And that might feel or sound uh, big headed. I don't really give a damn. That's just what it is. That's how I feel. I feel very moved by the idea that my inner, my, the base level of my motivation is knowing and feeling that I know I wasn't put on this earth solely and simply just to work for somebody else. I know I was meant to impact people. I know I was meant to use this gift of gab to do something with it. So regardless if I got zero people on any one of these streams listening in, a bunch of people who've never heard my voice before, a bunch of people who maybe have heard my voice to jump in and jump out, support, hit the likes, ask me a question, the algorithm, dealing and battling with the algorithm just to get some exposure. 
been at this for eight years and I feel like I should have way, way more than what I have right now. I have people who are so some of the most dopest and talented people that respect my opinion, that fuck with what the hell I got to say about this medium, that love to collaborate with me, love to continuously work with me. And I think that it's hard sometimes to not be in a space and a place to be able to to do even more for those folks who look up to you. To do even more for the folks who want to work with you and will work alongside you. Folks who enjoy the work that you've done and they are above you and want to lift you up in some way, shape, or form or throw certain opportunities at you, but because of certain parameters or qualifications, if you don't meet them, then it's kind of like, well, you got to get to this before I can give you that. Because if if things were different, I would be different. I would be in a whole different situation. A whole different situation. I would have me, an entire media company right now, where I got not only influencers doing marketing and NG and like UGC content for various different small companies, boosting up their things, working with them directly to get content out, working with small owned businesses to get content out and keep their things fresh and, and 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 bridging the gap to people that can overall improve the quality of their overall product and service. Um, working and giving back to young men in the community, young women in the community, young people in the community. Um, you don't have time for any of those things when you are forever immersed in yourself, when you are so worried about yourself. And so that's really where I'm at. That's really what it is. But let me, which is funny because I said to myself that I was going to make this the beginning of the episode, but we're going to send it on. Now, for those who may be listening to this, they're going to be able to hear the nice, soulful sounds of D'Angelo send it on. This is my call to action. Um, portion of the episode right before I wrap it up is usually when I send it on. Um, all I want to say is transparency is a quality that we have to have to grow. It's not something to be afraid of. It's not something that we should shy from. It's not something that is bad for us in any way, shape, or form. It is what it is. I want to dedicate myself to the rest of this week staying in a space, in a place of transparency and trying my best to open myself up to anyone and everyone who allows for me to share my story and want to continue to stay connected. And if the content is good for you, thank you. You know, let's, let's stay connected. Let's build. Let's make sure that we, you know, are forever interacting with each other, following each other back, doing whatever we need to do, supporting in whatever way. So what I ask is the same thing that I've been asking uh, the call to action for this send it on is um, ask me whatever. Ask me anything. You can ask me about my love life. You can ask me about my personal life. You can ask me about content creation, business, and um, anything that you feel like you would care for my opinion on. I'm challenging myself to just open up and give you more. Um, but I also wouldn't mind your help in giving you exactly what it is that you want. and flexing and practicing that muscle more often because I can create my own eco, you know, echo chambers um, where I, all I'm caring about is my own satisfaction when content creation is still a service, still something that I got to control and mitigate based on y'all, based on what y'all want, based on what y'all desire. So I appreciate it. I really do. Ask me anything. Um, but that's been uh, the Simply King podcast. You know, if this is your first time listening, you certainly joined in and listened at hell of a time, at a very strange time, I can imagine, um, because it's an interesting, it's interesting, it's interesting, it's interesting, it's interesting. But, um, as I said, 
Um, this is the transparency episode. I see you, Rena Fre- Freeman Watts. I see you. Um, and I say, hey, I say, I, I like. It's funny because I, I I rarely call them mantras, but yes, I did I did say some mantras today, uh, Rena. What's happening, Shireen? How you feeling? Um, but I'm wrapping it up, wrapping it up, wrapping it up, and really, yeah, I think I'm working on a few things right now for myself in a lot of different ways, and I think the thing that I need to that I'm going to commit myself to for the rest of the week is just opening myself up for that particular level of expression um, and feelings overall. Um, looks like we got one more question before I go, and I'll wrap it up right at this. Uh, it's funny that you say something about Scientology. <laughs> I got a question on... <laughs> I got a question on... Uh, IG right now from Rena Freeman Watts, uh, from the Better Call Daddy podcast, um, podcast extraordinaire. Um, you can actually uh, hear us actually speak, you know, to each other through a creation that we made through the Brave podcast. Um, so definitely go check that out. Um, but she asks thoughts on Scientology, and I'll be I, I can really be brief because I only know a limited amount of information about Scientology. But it is funny that you asked me this because I literally that lived down the street from a church of Scientology um, here in Georgia. It was one of the a surprise. It was one of the one of the many surprises uh, that I noticed when I just did a, you know, a quick, you know, when whenever I started to genuinely just drive around my neighborhood. Um, the funny thing about it is when I moved here, they actually had a sign, a QR code that was like right on the side of the um, of the church where it basically said, you know, want to get more information. Um, the parking lots are usually empty. Um, and the thing that I noted, because I believe I genuinely like noticed it and drove over there because I noticed that it was. Um, it was uh, the funny thing about it, it was. It's right next to a post office, which to me is a very eerie location to put any type of religious thing is right next to a post office. That feels mm, like literally imagine the church is on the corner, the church of Scientology on the corner, the post office, you you bend that corner, the post office is right behind it. Um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um. All I do know is that there are, you know, I'll I'll, I'll put it like this to sum it up, to be as explicit as I can be about my thoughts about the Church of Scientology. It is probably the best example of other than, you know, obviously organized religion. You can try to, quote unquote, say is, you know, somewhat cult like or a cult that never died, if you will. Scientology genuinely in so many essences of what is public about what it is, feels like a cult that never died a cult that didn't go away, a cult that didn't, quote unquote, feature some form of, you know, self-sacrifice or uh, some weird, strange, uh, little, well, <laughs> I mean, let me not say that because, you know, but more more than anything, um, it's it seems like they created their own structural religion. Um but it feels like they kind of approached it in a very cult like way, but because of Hollywood and various figures who are a part of it, it had staying power for some reason. So that's my thing. That's it. Um, but no, I've held y'all for long enough. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for the question, Rena. And you can still ask me anonymous questions. Go to the link in my bio. You can use the braid link to ask me questions via text, or you can use uh, the other link, the NGL link to ask me any questions anonymously, and I'll be answering them throughout the week. I appreciate you in advance. I appreciate you in advance. Signing off. This has been the Soulfully Conscious Podcast for Humans. Simply being humans. I've been Rodney Perry, also known as King. Peace.